Hello, in this video, I'm going to be going over runtime security, how to set up a user, and how to apply those to uh, screens. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to runtime security. I'm going to show you here that right now all we have is a default account. So I want to add another account so we can uh, put that in here. And we're going to make a maintenance account is what we're going to put in. So a maintenance account. So right now if we go to add, you're going to see that there's nothing in here that says maintenance. So if I go to show all users, show all, there's still nothing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to cancel here. We're going to go over here to our Windows Explorer. And we're going to go down to users. If you don't see your users, make sure that you go under users and groups. Go under users. Right click. And then hover over the new. And go to factor type user. In here, we're going to type in our username, which is going to be M-A-I-N-T. That's what we're going to use for main. We're going to check this box here for user cannot change password. We're going to check the box with password never expires. And then we're going to come up with a password. And for this class, we're going to be using uh, the same thing as our username is M-A-I-N-T as the password. Confirm it. I think I misspelled it. And click OK. Now if we come back up here to add and go to show all, now you're going to see that we have a mate in our list. So we're going to select mate, click OK, and now we have a default and a mate. Okay. So now what we want to do is the default would be for just anybody. Anybody can have access to these screens that have these letter designations. So you'll see these check marks in each one of these boxes beside these letters. Then you'll see a yes here underneath all these letters. So the check marks are the same thing as the yeses. So let's just say if I'm logged in as a default, which means everybody. So everybody should have access to this screen. But if I have a screen that I want protected, it's going to go under this one. So let's just say that for the default, I'm going to say that letter A, if you're defaulted, cannot be accessed unless you're in the main screen. So as you see, I said that these check boxes are the same thing as these yeses, these whys. But you'll see that I've got that one unchecked, but that's still Y underneath the A in default. So if you'll notice here, this accept button came up. So if we click that, now it updates. Now that is unchecked, and it's got a no in there. So now anybody that is logged in under the default, right, and has the letter A designated on the screen, they do not have access to that screen. So now, as you'll see, the maint has yeses on everything. So no matter what screen you're on, they have access to all those. Okay, so now, since we have got this updated and we've hit the accept button, we have no more changes to make. Now we want to close. And now it's going to say save changes to document. You want to save these changes or they will not take. If you hit no, it will put it back to just the way it was when we first came into the page. So we want to hit yes. Now if you made a mistake and you don't know exactly what you made a mistake on, you can hit no and it's going to set everything back and then you can come back in. But uh, I feel pretty good about what we've done, so I'm going to click yes. That's going to close that window. So now we have our, uh, our runtime security tab populated with the information we need. We have a user. Now what we want to do is put that into practice so we want to take go to our main screen and make sure that if you're not got this expanded, it's by displays. Make sure that you expand that out so you can see the main screen. And I also want to make another screen where we can go to, I want to duplicate the main screen. I want to call it screen two because I want to show you that we can go back and forth in these screens based off if we're uh, got the security. Okay, so I'm going to go to, now you'll see that I made that screen, but see it's kind of highlighted right here. The main screen is still up. So in order to get the screen two up, is I'd have to double click. See these two tabs here? Uh, that means I have two screens open. 
I can go back and forth in the screens here, or I can click on each one up here. So just make sure you see it, look up here, and that's telling you what screen you're working with. So now what I want to do in order to uh, go back and forth uh, with these uh, is we're going to go to an object. So the first thing is that I want to be able to log in. So I want to say object. I want to go to user management. I want to do a log in button. We are going to say that this log in button is we're going to label it log in. So if you go to the label tab, just type in log in. Let's see how that looks. Click apply. Okay, that's good enough. So let's just make this right here like a 50 by 50. Yeah, that's a little bit too small. So let's make that 75 wide. That looks a little better. Okay, now we've got a log in button. So let's go back up to the objects, user management, and say log out. So let's do the same thing. Let's go to label, log out. Let's make it a 50 by 75. Now if I click both of them and go to a range, align left, at least then they'll be over top of one another, kind of lined up. They're both the same size. So that looks uh, a little more organized. So now we can log in and we can log out. So the next thing we want to do is be able to go to a couple different screens. So in the main screen, we want to be able to go to screen two. So in the main screen, let's go to objects. Let's go to display navigation. Let's go to the go to object. And let us go in and we're going to select right here, it says display. Click the ellipses and it's going to open up this component browser and we're in the main screen so we want to be able to get to screen 2 so we're going to select screen 2 we're going to click and now we're going to label that screen 2 because if it's just a button with no lettering on it we have no idea what what that button is doing so if it's got a name of a screen on it then it's pretty self-explanatory what it's going to do for you so we're going to label that screen 2 let's go to the common tab we're going to call that 50 by 100. Okay. Now what we can do is click on this. Control. Let's go back over. Control C. And then uh, Control V. Now I'll put this over here in this screen. So now I want to double click on this. I want to do, All I'm going to do is change that to the main screen. Because if I'm in screen 2, I want to be able to get back to the main. Right? We're just going to call that main. Click apply. And the good thing about copying some of these things is that it makes it a whole lot easier because the sizing and all the stuff is going to be correct. So there's a, sometimes that it's easier just to start over depending on what type of object it is. Um, if it's the same type of object. So that is a go-to button. That is a go-to button. There's no reason for that. They can't be the same size. So all we got to do is change what display they're going to and the uh, labeling on it. Okay, so that's all we have to do there. So we can log in, we can log out. Uh, we have screen to main. And when we first started uh, the, our project in the project settings, we've already learned this. If you go to runtime, that this enable auto logout in activity period, 30 minutes or whatever. Uh, but we're going to be able to, if we're in screen two, it's automatically going to take us back out of screen two and put us back in screen, uh, the main screen is what this is going to do. So we're not going to wait 30 minutes, but I was just going to show you that's also part of this runtime security. So what we're going to do is that once we have our changes made that we want, we'll be, we will X, and it's going to ask us to save. We're going to hit yes. We're going to X out of this screen. It's going to ask us to save the changes. We're going to hit yes. Now to demonstrate that they actually work, we're going to go to application, test application, This right here is going to give us the ability to test our application just like it says so that we can make sure that we didn't make any mistakes. And creating a runtime file when you do a test application or getting ready to download this into your HMI, it has to be transferred or converted into a uh, runtime file. The design file will not work in the HMI. So once this gets started, we'll 
tested. So it's going to come up. And basically, this is going to look just like the HMI would look like. Is, is exactly what this is exactly uh, what the HMI would look like if once it was downloaded. Okay, so now what we're going to do is because we're not logged in, so we're going to hit the screen too and see if it'll let us go there. It will. Oh, so what I forgot, let's hit the X key. So if you're in this test application, if you hit the X on your keyboard, it will exit out of that. So what I did wrong was that screen two, if we open screen two back up, make sure up at the top it's a screen two. Then you want to right click, go to display settings. We want to change the security code to an A because we said if unless you are logged in as Mank, then screen A is not going to be available to you. That's what that means. So we got to change that to A. We got to go back through and X and then save the changes. Then go back up and do a test application. Sorry about that, guys. We'll get there. Sometimes it does take a little bit for it to, to start back up. But no worries though, we'll get there. So here it is. So now I've not logged in yet. So let's ha try to hit screen two. And see it tells me that currently logged in user does not have security access to screen two. So basically right now we're logged in as default, right? So let's close that. Now if we go log in, type in our username, which is Mank. Type in our password, which is Mank. Click log in, then select screen two. Now it lets us go to screen two. So let's just go back, let's just go forward. So that's exactly what we wanted to see. Now if we press log out, now we hit screen two, see? So that right there took away the access rights. That means that we're logged out now. We're back in the default current, it says it's current user default. So now we, we know that uh, we can't get in there. So let's close that out. Now there's one other thing I want to show you about security. So now we've seen that unless you're logged in, you can make it to where you can't get to certain screens because it says you don't have access to that screen. So let's hit the X key. So that's one way of denying people access to things. There's also sometimes there's maybe one little thing on a screen that you don't want somebody to have access to. Uh, sometimes it's easier uh, to just to deny the one button. So let's just say if this screen two, if I didn't want to you know, deny the whole screen, but let's just say if I just wanted to take this button away to where you can't even see that you have an option to get there. So let's just uh, right click on this button, go to animation, visibility. So now if we go to expression, functions, security, let's go to current user has code security letter. Click OK. We're going to check syntax, and there's an error. What that error is is that I didn't put a letter in this up here. So remember the letter A was what we gave screen to. So that means unless the current user is logged in as you know that has access to letter A, then this button is not going to be visible. So let's check syntax. Ch syntax just means that everything is where it's supposed to be. It doesn't mean it's going to work correctly but it knows that everything is the way it's supposed to be, at least uh, logically. Okay, so we're gonna check syntax, it's gonna say valid, so we're gonna say, click okay. And here's one of those places where I said before, if you do not click apply, then you're gonna lose everything you just done. So you better click apply. And here it says current user has code A, then the object is visible, right? So if this, if this current user has code and it's the letter A. And remember, you can change that to any letter you want. That's kind of arbitrary. But that's the way we've got it set up for now is A. Then it's going to be visible. So let's close. Now we have to X so we can save. And once we've saved, then we want to test the application again. And you're going to see that uh, instead of getting that kind of ugly banner that comes up and say you don't have the access rights, that you don't even have to have the ugliness there whatsoever. Because when we do this, what we should see is that the button ain't even there unless we're logged in. So you don't even have the ability to even try to get to the other screen. 
unless you're logged in. So we'll wait for that to open up. Okay, it's just about done. Okay, so now it's finished. Now you'll see the button ain't even there. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Log in. Now the button's back. Now I go to the, main, the screen two and I go back to main. Now I go back and forth as, as I need. Now if I hit log out, the button goes away. Now, here's the thing is, it ain't even, it ain't just transparent, it ain't even there. See, I'm clicking in the area where it should be. So if it was transparent, you'd still be able to click on it. So that means that the button is not, the object is not there whatsoever, unless you're logged in. All right? So uh, we're going to hit X to get out of that. And so if you have any questions about this uh, or anything related to this, just let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.